You're watching Money and Main Street. We're up to our CEO sit down, which is all about getting you top advice from one of our area's leading business professionals. We've asked Bill Corbett Jr. to join us today. He's the head of Corbett Public Relations and has a blog called Grow Your Personal Brand. I like that. Welcome to our program, well, thank Bill. Thank you very much. It's uh, great to be here again. All right. So today we want to talk about the relative need of a business to have put on events versus corporate videos. Uh, well, I think having a corporate video and having even a personal branded video is very important. Every single business today needs to have an online video presence. If they don't have an online video presence, they're two or three years behind their competition and their competition is accelerating very fast. So businesses need to have at least a one or two minute video about what they do and why people should come to them. And individuals, if they're in sales, marketing or networking, they need to have a video about themselves as well and maybe have that on YouTube or LinkedIn. And about how much would that cost? It can be very reasonable. You can have a, a, a video for yourself that could be a couple hundred dollars. It could be well produced uh, to ten thousand dollars or more to create a corporate video. So it really ranges and can fit with any budget. Uh, really, the, the the key is that you can hear the person well. There's a good microphone. There's good lighting, and most importantly, there's a right the right message. They can get their message across quickly. Because remember, people do turn off after about thirty seconds online. Now, some people aren't great with communication. So, what is a key? to getting effective messaging out there? Well, first you have to identify who your target market is and who you're talking to, and then practice. You need to go in front of a camera, set one up down your basement or in your office, and practice and practice until you get your message out in a, qu a quick, concise way uh, in 30 seconds to a minute so that it gets to the right people before they turn you off. Now, how do you make it cool as opposed to predictable and low rent? Well, you want to be interesting. You want to talk about things. Let your personality shine. Don't just sit behind the desk and or, or make a video that looks like a, a prison video where you're against a wall or something. You want to be interesting. You want to potentially, with the software that's out there, you can integrate pictures, graphics, and things like that that make it interesting and visually pleasing. And one hint for a lot of people, put a little music underneath, and does make that does tend to make it a little bit more interesting. Now you're talking about music and graphics and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. What else is a surprise that people need to put in there? Well, I mean, you, you want to have your website link and you want to have ways that people can connect with you. But what's really important is when you post a video online, YouTube, for example, YouTube is the second most searched search engine, you want to have content that goes with the video, keywords, <laughs> messages, information. So when people do a search, they can find your video online. And remember, YouTube is connected and owned by Google, so that enhances your Google search as well. Okay, so now let's talk about events. How do you put on a great event? Give us a, an example of the type of business and the type of event where it doesn't look like you're making a sales pitch. Well, it's really about giving. You need to create events where you're giving the attendees something and they walk away with something and you're not selling. You want like to provide. What? Well, you're not going to come out and say, hey, buy my insurance product or buy my, my car or, buy, uh, or you know, buy my product or uh, whatever it is, my technology, my app, and say, hey, instead, here are some helpful ways to grow your business through using our app or through using the people that work with our company. It's a two-way street. We want to help you, and in the process of helping you, we get to know us, and then you're going to want to utilize our service or buy our products. So let's say that I want to come up with this event. We, I want to put it on. What's the difference between an event that a retail store would throw versus a law firm? Well, a law firm, they probably want to uh, have people come in who are business owners or people who are decision makers at businesses. They have a different clientele, so they need to create something where they give back to those businesses, like I said, to give them some information about helping them manage a, a situation or a challenge or grow. A retail situation is where you want to get people into the, into the location, say it's a restaurant or a retail shop, that gets them to come back and get a little taste of what you have to offer. Okay, in our final seconds, what is the key to follow through? Follow through, do you know that 60% of leads generated at a trade show are never followed up on? So you need to have the most important thing, a plan and a strategy for following up for people as soon as you meet them. Send them a nice note, personalized, connect with them on LinkedIn, and then continue that giving process. Give them something that will make them remember you and come back for more. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you for your tips and advice. Anytime.